I got four of these uh, crushed ombre panels for Cameron's room because I'm about to paint it. I'm going to do a before and after of that too. Uh, I got a drapery rod for Cameron. Right now she just has the like um, cheap little $2 white one that we had when we were kids. But we wanted to get this drapery rod so that she has something that's a little more stable. And I okay, so this is Cameron's curtain rod. This is just the little old fashioned one. But I don't think I'm going to rehang these. I may. Who knows? But anyway, that's that. So what I have to do now before I get started painting this wall is to unscrew the hardware and patch up the holes. In it. And this girl's going to have to get out of this room for tonight. Right, Cameron? Yeah, but I want to. I'm going to bring my favorite blanket. blanket. Yeah, you can bring your favorite blanket, but she's going to have to sleep in a guest room. So... Okay, okay, I got the holes patched. And I'm gonna, oops, allow those to dry. I don't even know if I'll get to this wall at all tonight because I'm gonna um, take my time. Okay, so it's maybe an hour or so later and this is my progress. And I've taken, maybe an hour and a half, I've taken a few breaks, but. Got all of that. Uh, hey, go to the, go to my bathroom, please. Okay. All right, thanks. I did not do that wall because I had to patch up a couple of holes and I wanna make sure it's dry before I paint it. Same with this area right there. But yeah, so I just have to finish this wall, get around that TV, um, that wall, and then this one, which is not gonna be a full wall. So I may just finish this tonight and then tomorrow I can come back and touch up. And she's done. I didn't expect to finish it tonight, but I did. I know I'm going to have some touch-ups to do tomorrow. But hopefully it won't be too many. I went back over the ceiling line over there. And in a couple of places. But yeah, we'll see what it turns out like tomorrow. And then I'll put the covers and everything back on tomorrow. Vacuum her room really well, because it's filthy and then just put everything back together all right see you tomorrow it's late okay so it's like seven o'clock in the morning we've been up since about 6 30 and this morning I've already come in and moved Cammie's dresser back to where it should be hey quiet down please okay. and she is on 10 this morning but I've already done some touch-ups to the paint where it was kind of just, it needed a little bit more. So I'm allowing that to dry. I'm going to take her to school. <laughs> I got to do her hair first. Say good morning, Cam. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Um, All right, y'all. Okay. It's probably about noon. And this is my progress. I got the bed moved. Dryer just went off. Got a couple of pictures hung. She had those at the old house and one is cricket, but I'm not messing with it right now. Got the curtain rod done. And next I just have to do her closet, which we're gonna purge some toys. So, all right. Okay, I'm finally finished with Cameron's room. So I don't have this lamp plugged up. Um, she doesn't really need it right now. So this is it. She has not seen it yet. I'm about to... We'll put more wall decorations up at a later time. But I did um, take out some of her toys. I got her books up on the top.
and her shoe box is at the bottom and that little Hello Kitty box and a couple of games. I picked up these little, this little banner from the Dollar Tree and I got some pictures from Hobby Lobby which I'm not finished hanging yet. But they don't really match. But anyway, that's like a wood one. They're all in white frames. And then, that's what I got from the Dollar Tree. I, um, I was gonna hang the pictures over her bed, but I decided against that. Just Anyway, that's it. I get closer. And I think I'm probably going to go ahead and add that last triangle to the right side. Let's do it. <laughs> 